Good afternoon and welcome. Uh, my name is Rickardin, aka RM the Welshman, uh, on Steam. I uh, this is the first video that I'm going to be doing for YouTube. Uh, it'll be a series of videos where I'm going to talk about um, my trials, tribulations, and findings in setting up custom liveries for the new F1 game, the 2020 game. Um, it's a little bit different to previous years in that there's quite a lot of content that is hidden behind a paywall. Uh, so the caveat, like it was before, actually in previous games, is that any time you modify anything in the game, it means that you will not be able to play online content. You'll have to simply validate your files and go through all of the processes that I will talk about in coming videos, again, in order to play it. Um, it's really help. It's really kind of set up this year that if you want to do my team or you're a single player, that that's what you do, um, because it can be a bit of a, a pain to try and figure that out. If there is something I figure out later on, then I'll do a, another video and, and discuss how I've done that. Um, quite a lot of the stuff I'll talk about is comes from a few other guides that people have done. Um, however, the purpose for me doing one is there was quite quite a lot that when I was doing this as a first time a first time user, first time into this sort of thing, there was quite a lot that was missed out in those guides and quite a lot that wasn't explained that left me a bit mystified. And uh, so my aim is to try and talk people through that and save some time, hopefully. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to talk about today is the actual setup for doing any mod in game, because there's a few steps that you need to do in order to do that. The first thing you will need is you'll need a video editing software so mine of choice is uh, photoshop this year's one you can get that on a seven day trial if you haven't got it so if you wish to do your your editing and then save all the files and then in load load them into game uh, once you've used it you can then get rid of it if you can uh, cancel the subscription if you so wish i've used this so often and found it so useful that i've actually subbed into it now um, everything that i will be talking will be based around obviously using that for the editing there are other other things out there that you can use if you wish to. Just have a look on Google and see what your preference is. Um, you will also need this, which is called uh, the Ego ERP Archiver. There's a chap out there that uh, designs this and keeps it updated and has done for a number of years uh, just in relation to reading this particular type of file, the ERP files, which is what the game um, handles. It's the, It's... A must because to export or import anything to the game files you need this and i'll talk about this more as we go on and we start using it um, it's free to download you can if you wish to choose to donate a little bit to the chap that uh, makes the program and i'll put all the links to anything i talk about i will be in the video description uh, in the type at the bottom uh, once the video is uploaded you'll also need a plugin for Adobe Photoshop. So you will need to go and find yourself a Intel uh, TextureWorks DDS plugin. Uh, you download that and there are three files that come with that. So they need to go into, so this is where on my computer, the main Photoshop is saved. So you go into the main Photoshop folder. The first one, so there are two scripts that come with it. So you go into the presets folder in Photoshop you go into the scripts folder and these two here will need to be loaded in. You then come out of there. You then go into the required folder. You go into plugins and you go into extensions, extensions, file formats, sorry. And this here. Now, those three files, there will be a guide that comes with the plugin that tells you where that is. But one thing I found is that to tell you where those files actually go, it doesn't tell you that. It just tells you generically where that you should load it in. So that's where I found that they need to go from a combination of looking at other guides, reading stuff online. Now, that's really important because if I were to go into Photoshop and if I were to load in if we load in our pit crew helmet design. So we go into the helmet design and we save it. This would not be an option if we didn't have this plugin installed. So you'd need to select that. And that brings up this window. 
Now this window is important and I'll explain why uh, in coming episodes, but this is what you want. That enables you to then save it in a format that the game then recognizes. So for the moment, those are the things that you need, uh, things that are helpful as well. So there's a site called uh, Race Department that you should go and visit. And within that race department site are a lot of modding files. Uh, it is free to sign up, but you will need to sign up to it. Um, there's loads of games. There's the old F1 games. I imagine if you're watching this video, you're probably fully aware of that because that's where most of the mods, the, the more uh, famous mods over recent years have been. So the, what's really useful is there is two things that I would suggest we pick up and I'll, I won't, I'll mention them very briefly in coming videos, but you have this, which is a helmet texture from last year's game. But what it's useful is it gives you a 3D map of your helmet. So there's my helmet design that I'm rocking this year. OK, so as you change things on your flat helmet, you will be able to see them real time in a proper 3D helmet. There is also this that I would suggest going and picking up, which is one for this year's car and exactly the same. It is a 3D model base. And as you change your design in game, it then changes on this 3D model. So again, there's my design. That's exactly what it looks like. And that's obviously the image on my desktop is how it translates. And for example, if I open this file, so this base layer, take off the overlays this is what the actual file looks like so this is why it's really useful to have a 3d model because as you tinker with things in here and use trial and error it then changes in here i'll go into more detail in this when i talk about doing the custom liveries but those two things are things that i would suggest you go and and download uh, from race department so 2020 uh, car paint psd it'll be a 3d model base same with the 2019 helmet um, because that I will talk about those quite a lot in uh, coming videos. Uh, for the moment, I'm going to leave this video here uh, just as the setup, and then I'm going to start doing uh, various videos. I'll, st I'll do a helmet design, a uh, race suit design, which includes things like gloves and boots, uh, pit crew, and various other bits and pieces, because certainly when it comes to pit crew and, and pit styles, I haven't found any guides out there as of yet for those. Uh, quite a lot of what I found out has been trial and error and I've got it working in the game. So I'll talk about how and where all that stuff goes. Uh, for the moment, I shall bid you farewell and until the next video.